So many people settle for just good enough, just a good enough love, a good enough job, a good enough life, but not us. I feel lucky to have a relationship that is not just good enough, but it's the ultimate bond. You are absolutely everything, everything I didn't know I was dreaming of and everything I was told to wait for. Babe, I love you so much and I can't believe today is finally here. You're the most thoughtful, caring, and compassionate person I've ever met, and it didn't take me long to know that you were the one. When we met, it was right after I lost Dad, and COVID was happening, so it was one of the hardest times in my life, and meeting you immediately put me back on track. I don't know how I would have navigated that alone. And you were, and you always will be my North Star. This past two and a half years have been incredible, and I can't believe I finally found you. Thank you for trusting me, for loving me, providing for me, raising the best and worst dogs in the world with me, <laughs> and confirming that a love like this could exist. You are my best friend, the absolute love of my life and I'm so honored you chose me to be your wife. This life that we're building together is all I've ever wanted and more. I've known you for 19 years. So for more than half my life, I've gotten to be friends with James Potter and not just friends, we've become family. You have become like a brother to me over these years, and it's in that that I'm happy to be here and be standing here watching you marry your gorgeous wife here today. There are so many traits I love about Alexis. First, she is the most genuine person I will, you will ever meet, and I couldn't be happier to be standing by her side today. She has a heart of gold, would do anything for anyone, is patient and kind, something I could learn from her. Aww. Now on to Babe. First of all, I want to say thank you. Thank you for making my best friend happy. Thank you for putting her first. Thank you for showing her unconditional love. Thank you for showing up for her. Hi. Over the course of time, James and I became great friends, and he started drinking Labatt, a real beer, and eventually continued on and started drinking some custom beer and diving into a good whiskey. I bring this up because just like his taste in alcohol, his taste in women grew fond. He found his crown royale in Alexis, and I can tell he's not been happier. Dear Steve, I wish so much that I could have met you to hear the stories all the time. And me and you would have been best friends. Your daughter is the light of my life. She grew into the most incredible woman. You would be so proud of her. I just want you to know that she is my forever and I will be her by her side every day. I will do everything I can to make her happy and make you proud to call me your son-in-law. Enjoy today looking down on us and thank you for the incredible weather. Best day of my life marrying your daughter. Love you, Steve. James. Don and Marie, I know I never got to meet you, but I already know James is the best parts of both of you. He's funny and compassionate, dedicated, and has the best heart. Don, from what I hear, you would burn the world down for your lady. Well, be happy to know that your son is exactly the same way. Marie, <laughs> James tells me all the time you and I would have been best friends. Thank you for raising the man of my dreams. I know you are watching over him always and will be here with us today, right by his side. We love you, miss you, and wish you were here. Oh, this is... The most high mark moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them.
We've both felt extreme loss, and like we say, it's our unfortunate bond, but I think it makes us even stronger together, and that's never gonna change. I promise to always be by your side, have your back, and love you every step of the way through good times and bad. You're my everything, and my love for you will never waver. Um, I also wanted to thank my mom and dad, because they showed me for 30 years what real love looked like, and I know I found it with you. We've said it to each other a lot, but lately I find it comes more to my mind that I wholeheartedly believe that our parents cut a deal and that my dad and your parents brought us together. I know he's looking down on us and I hope he feels peace knowing that his baby girl, his face, is in good hands and that you'll love and protect me now and forever. I promise to make sure that our kids know who their grandparents are and to always honor their memories and make sure that they're never forgotten. But most of all, I promise to keep updating these as we go, because one set of vows can never cover a lifetime of growing with you, raising children with you, falling more and more in love with you each and every day. I can't promise that every day is going to be perfect, but I promise to love you with everything that I have. And I'm going to love you for as long as I can until the very end. I give you this ring as a sign of our love and commitment to each other. I promise to support you, care for you, and stand alongside you for, for all, all the days, days of our lives. lives. By the love that has brought you here today, by the vows and rings you have exchanged in the presence of your loved ones, it is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Alexis, this family that I was building with James, you're now a part of this. And I don't think he could have chosen a better person to be a part of what we've had and what we will have and what our families will have. And I consider myself lucky to have you for a friend, to have you choosing her for a bride, and just to be here and share all of this with you. You complement each other perfectly, and it's easy to see how crazy you are about each other. I'm so honored to call you my friends and very close family, and I can't wait to see how you navigate this exciting next chapter together. Now, if we can all raise our glasses and toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Potter. Alexis, I know today and many days ahead of you will be hard not having your father here with you. I see so many traits of Steve in you, your strength, your determination, your kind and giving heart. These traits will keep him close to you and make you more special to us. So in honor of Donna Marie and Stephen, could we raise our glasses and toast to their son and daughter, Mr. and Mrs. James and Alexis Potter. Woo! <laughs>